Hi there. Thank you for watching this clip on principle of zero products. Principle of zero products really is just a fancy way to say, look, when you have multiplication with each one of the parentheses, in order for this three chunks equal to zero, there's only two choices, either chunk A equal to zero or chunk B equal to zero. This is because zero times anything equal to zero. For example, five times m equal to zero, then you know m has equal to zero. If I have a five times m times n equal to zero, and then irregardless what n is, if m equal to zero, then the whole thing equal to zero, right? Five m n equal to zero. And if n equal to zero, irregardless of what m is, then five times m times n equal to zero. Okay, that's all that's saying, principle of zero products. So in order for us to figure what a special x is to make the whole thing equal to zero, we'll let a equal to zero. From there, then we have six x minus five equal to zero. This is pretty easy to solve. Six x equal to five and x equal to five over six. That's the first one, if a equal to zero. Okay, if we set b equal to zero, then we have 5x plus 4 equal to 0. Then x is equal to minus 4 over 5. Okay, that's the answer. Let me know if this helped you. This is Tucson Math Doc Channel. And the host is Tucson Math Doc Channel. Join me for this channel. Together we can conquer math. Until next time, have a confident day.